community-based organizations, NPOs, should go back to the simplest definitions of why we exist to be symbols of hope. But here they exist to help. Uh, that's their slogan. And really they exist to help. Bonamelo is a, is a good person. Um, I take him as my role model. Nice, Mr. Bonamelo. This nigga is the listening to what is called Express Recording. First time, Felicity Kale Cassi Coders 1.0. It was nice. I designed my own website. This kind of I'm an initiative, especially Lawaza Nibuna Melo, I think I'm going to pull in This is Stories Untold, the home of good news. I am Pule Mulebati, the bearer of those good news. Today, we'd like to introduce you to yet another change maker. We have a lot. I know definitely in your community, there is someone who's driving change, and we would like to share their story on Stories Untold. Today, though, we are taking a journey with philanthropist Bonamelo Muloi. He does really incredible things with people with disabilities as well as unemployed youth. We're about to find out who the man is, but we'll also like you to pay close attention to the work that he has done with children who have cerebral palsy and uh, how he has been able to provide a safe heaven as well as a center for these children. Bonamale Muloi is an enthusiastic young man from Davidton who is very zealous about his community and fostering meaningful change to improve the well-being of his community. He was recently recognized and awarded for his contribution to activism and civil society at the inaugural Youth Legacy Excellence Awards. We caught up with him to follow his journey on being a Kasi hero. So I'm born and bred in Davidton. So when I got the opportunity to see other things outside of the township setup, um, it started bothering me this thing of why is it that, even if it's just me at the time, um, but why is there no motivation to bring these kind of encouraging things in the townships? And one realizes that it's almost like a system. It's set that way. But every system is set by a person. You know, and I guess it bothered me until I did not want to be bothered without doing something. One of the key areas of the foundation is to play a hand in encouraging a well-rounded and enlightened generation of leaders through programs focused on youth development and poverty interventions. One notable program is the Kasi Coders Ekurlini, which provides essential coding and website development skills to more than 18 learners from four high schools in Davidton. In this coding and web development program um, that started earlier this year, we started with um, handpicking um, your top achievers um, across your grade 10 and 11s in, in, in the neighborhood high schools. And we've got now a group of 18 learners. We certificated the first part of it, which was in May, the, the 18. We started with 20. And then, of course, some will always fall off. But I think, you know, we've had a good outcome where we now ended off with 18. So now that was your basic coding and web development, where they were able at that time to build an actual website. So now that coding and web development program has been now the final leg of the pilot we have just started two weeks ago. And we will be certificating again in October. Now, they should be fully fledged to um, start uh, and then billing people for those services as well. And why particularly in terms of that, it's not necessarily just because of the trend of coding this for I are that, is that we realize that um, the biggest thing in our township communities is, is, is pocket money you know, self-sustenance. And if we teach them these skills from an early age and we make sure that we incubate them and build clients for them, they can perfect these skills before they even get to varsity. He came and approached me, he asked the four learners. So from grade 11 and grade 10. And my selection, I was looking at the learners uh, that are not at the learners that are willing 
not learners that are intelligent, but those learners must be willing. So I chose some of the learners that they were not, they didn't have an interest in this coding. But there were those when I announced, they were willing. So I managed to choose those learners because of their willingness in this coding. The program's impact is profound. Learners expressed their excitement and pride at being selected for the bootcamp, which boosted their self-confidence and motivated them. I didn't know anything about coding. I was clueless. Hence, when I started the program, I was clueless on, of, on how to use the laptop. I didn't know how to use the laptop, but they, um, the teachers here at the program were were patient with me and they taught me each and every step that I, I need to know. The Mbunamelo Foundation is helpful to me because um, you know on weekends all you do is watch TV and go and play with your friends but with the foundation and the program that they gave to us I can say I'm learning a lot. Instead of staying home and playing I'm gaining knowledge which I can use to make my own money, like creating a website for a business, a local business. So with Bunamelo, it doesn't only empower us, but it always it also empowers um, local businesses, which I can help and create their websites so they can make their businesses uh, world known. When we started, it was easy coding, but now we, we, are, we are learning a new uh, language, which is called JavaScript. It's difficult, but I think um, when time goes, I will master it. And coding, I think yesterday I was searching about um, coding, coding jobs. Um, I found that there are there are companies that want to hire uh, coders, web develop web development coders. Yes. So I think um, when I'm done with school, I will do it as a side hustle. I just got picked. I did not know Mr. Bonamelo. I had no idea that I was going to be part of um, a Gussie Coder program that lasted that long. Um, so I got to learn a new coding language. I got to learn um, website development, which was great because even now I can create my own website. It's a way of me making money um, for small businesses. Like Mr. Bonamelo always says that we don't gain the knowledge in Jay Mahala. You can utilize it anywhere, you can make your own future. You, um, with the unemployment rates increasing, with the experience that we have, we can create employment for ourselves. Mr. Bodamelo, this nigga is only listening to the Wallace Connex Passy Coding. First time, Felicity Kale Cassie Coders, Cassie Coders 1.0, it was nice. I designed my own website, and then secondly, it was when some people was say, the better way, like on a certain thing corner, they must figure out a proper share different careers, which is the sneakers of you, Mr. Bonamelo, then no Mr. Slindil and I, we have a little bit of a sneakers and opportunity to Mr. Bonamelo, we too, and then Master Sam, I guess, this school, Cassie Coders, three, two point oh, since I'm currently now, if it's a study, since I'm nine till one o'clock, and then after that, I'm a man to Mazana, like the women, women's man to cast, so when which is The success of the Kasi Coders Ekrulini has given the students confidence and they are more focused on their studies. As they joined it, they are so participating in class, they are disciplined. And you can see that what they are doing there, they are very interested because they normally come to me. One say that I want to do this, I want to use this coding in order to do the business of uh, the restaurant, open my restaurant in future. I have learned that. So they are so excited. They have the, the positive objectives in, of using this coding. Our learners are pushing us now. Um, to make sure that these programs keep going on. For example, with the coding program when we were certificated, it was also an awards ceremony, which will also be an awards ceremony at the end of the second leg of it. And um, we had gifting such as brand new laptops, you know, um, and gift bags for, for, for everyone else. And the one that won, um, you find that now they are intentionally wanting to bridge that gap 
and starting to make um, additional revenue for themselves, just in terms of the concept that we had had. And they are the ones who are rushing back and saying, guys, um, I'm coming here to beat you guys. And then you find that now it is not us pushing for the school to say, guys, can you please have your learners and things. It's the learners that are pushing the schools to say, please support us. We want to be part of this program. Stories Untold, a platform for ordinary people to share their journeys, but also to show you ordinary people who do incredible things. Because it's when we see people that look like us and talk like us that we see that we also can do what they do. So we're all about driving change. In this particular segment, we hear from people who have had the impact or the benefit of working with our featured guest, Bonamelo, today. And these are the beneficiaries of all the projects that that he has been a part of. Let's go straight there. We continue to follow Bonamelo as he does his philanthropical work around his community. Through his efforts of championing communities to work together, a center taking care of children living with autism and cerebral palsy is fast becoming a safe haven for the kids. The center was established by Sibongi Lebudibi. They have been struggling with recognition and support. This is up until they met with the Bunamelo Foundation. It's entire true, it's for kids, Abahambangama wheelchair, kids abane autism. It's cerebral palsy, it's the damage of a spinal cord so they can't do anything for themselves. So it's in a seven, like a like higher 24 seven. We have three services. First service, it's a drop in, they come and go. Second service, it's a slip in, balala Monday to Friday, Friday they go home. And then Kone Stalana will full time 24 seven. We take care of them 24 seven. We need to make sure we see they've got food, They've got uh, toiletries, nappies, uh, the place is clean. Now, but they are clean, so it's a lot. And uh, since Sigu relationship, Nobunamelo, then I'm explaining which we are registered, Tina, with the social development. But we don't have a health certificate as yet. And then I'm beginning to get to residency and I have the certificate. First, Ikishile to need to be up to standard, libe right according to our requirements with Department of Health. Number two, the whole place mele ibe paved. Mele sibe ne ramp, i toilet here to need to have a rails, i pavle to mele libe suitable for mutano ne CP. Because for ipe keke kiva magola gom kukam fagi pavin, it's not safe. I'm telling you, those are the requirement. As a startup establishment, the center fell victim into the hands of scammers. This was before they met with the Bunamelo Foundation. The foundation managed to build trust with the center, and together they organized a walk to raise funds to keep the place afloat. The walk was a success. Okay, we need tiles, tiles. Okay, from Le I see organizing from the work because people make me register, fully. That money is a user of the tiles. So, Ibonamelo Foundation, we are seeing the tiles, a Queen Matons Stimulation Center. And then we had a mom, Connis, La Gusiling, but the Wawa at a major Connis Switch. And then they also reinstalled a mom, Connis, they reinstalled a mom, rails, where to get in rails. Okay, we continued. Sa sa sebenza ne bonamelo. So through ibonamelo, we were able to get groceries. See, na makrozara basletela wona every after four months. Basletela ma fifty kgs. So we met those people through ibonamelo foundation. Working with the foundation, I've also learned isn't as many like how to use. Um, communication effectively about how to market yourself so fundile a call from the foundation and then if it's i of a but they exist to help uh that's their slogan and really they exist to help so i wish good thing i see they can get more donors 
bathola ma sponsorship plus bawusizo kakhulu 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 emphakathini The foundation also runs an annual food parcel drive that seeks to eradicate poverty in this community. They do this through the collaboration of local leaders and churches. Pastor Tulani was thrilled to collaborate with the Bunamelo Foundation. The reception it has been amazing because, in fact, this kind of ama initiative especially lawyers and ibunamelo ayadinga kakhulu emphakathini recently we had e on the 9th of august uh, ibunamelo came to our church uh, and then there was a lot of people that actually came and more than what we expected and then loke kwasibona isuku ukuthi kahle kahle we need such things uh, because umphakathi unedinga ezine normally in our community we've got a lot of people who are unemployed so amakhaya amaningi the, the you'd find that there is maybe one person or seven za you know call them seven za uko right and there are also many of amakaya la kona kungena muntu seven za so nati as the church we thought with the, with the resources little resources that we have singa reach out to the community and then go and something is yenza community based organizations npos should go back to the simplest definitions of why we exist to be symbols of hope. Most of us lose that definition because we have adopted finances as a symbol of hope. So now if I don't have money, that means I can't help you. And I am saying that is not the case with us. We are the symbol of hope. Into enkulu esi notice ayo kakhulu la emphakathini is is that um there's a lot of poverty and so se afisa kakhulu ukuthi kwangathi kungaba namanye ama organization angasisiza especially to cover those areas number one, whereby we are able to give uh, ama groceries to abantu and that's number one. but then in number two, i think any into ac notice ukuthi e challenge is skills development se afisa kakhulu ukuthi kwangathi especially the young people because notice kakhulu ukuthi abantu abasha there's a lot of things we are mostly focused on problems that we are aware of and I myself personally am impacted by so we don't go outside the box and try to find something to be relevant we are fixing or trying to play a part in current problems Bunamelo Moloi is the founder of the Bunamelo Melisizwe Foundation. He is a big visionary and a dreamer. He is currently turning his family home into an ICT center. He hopes to bring all his resources into one hub to make his services accessible and known to the community. It's meant to be an ICT center and to promote um, the fourth industrial revolution and be relevant build the township potential so we'll have training rooms here we've got two training rooms that we can turn into um, your computer rooms as well because most of the facilitation will be through the use of computers and all sorts of nice fancy gadgets of course we don't have them now but vision you know so though that's what we'll start using at the moment these rooms for that um, we will keep doing our best to hire out equipment, partner with people who can, but those are little problems, you know. And then we've got a room as well. We know that reading is a huge thing. In one of these rooms, we're going to have as well a library, you know, to ensure that our learners can read and teach them as well and help them progress in terms of reading and writing. We want to be a support structure to the education framework of the country in whatever it means, you know, so that we can be entrusted as well that the responsibility is not fully on the schools, but from us as a community as a whole. Given the unemployment rate in South Africa, some beneficiaries from the foundation end up volunteering to gain skills and experience. This is something that the foundation is proud of. 
we do have volunteers. I think currently we have a group of about 10 volunteers and then there's mix. Um, we can say that about 60% of our volunteers um, are in the unemployment space and they, they, it, it's just a blessing, you know, to have people who are giving their all to make sure that, you know, this thing that is in your heart can come to fruition. And then the other half, you find that whenever they can, of course, there are other commitments, and then we try to all play a part. And even that as as the church, we see logo, we see what we go to. Si fini le le la, si bes nga gas kono fini le la kono. Moba, we have limited resources, but in collaboration, masiba na banyabantu ba sevenza, saba sevenza. Aba na mukondo si na wo, and na baba kusha ba hinza logo sevenza. Si agwa zuri sevenza si ane si langa ne sebe together. Bona Melo is a is a good person. Um, I take him as my role model. Um, I've learned a lot of things from him um, and I, I, I want to say thank you for, for the laptop. I won the laptop at Bonamelo Foundation. Um, I, we were coding websites and I coded the, the best website. Yeah. I hope Mr. Mloi and the Bonamelo Foundation, they continue and empower Kasi, Kasi ghetto, ghetto learners because we are not privileged and they came to us and they offered as the program without wanting anything from us in return. So I hope they continue and empower others as well, as well because like with them, I have learned a lot. They helped us a lot, Ibona Melo. For instance, installing a material slide because it was something expensive for us since the CNPO that is not funded. We can install a material slide because it was one of the biggest issue in health cause big make carpet. So bati abantwana ba inhaler it dust. It's a health hazard for them. So them ukuthi basifakela ama tiles isisize kakhulu 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 kakhulu. Bonamelo never misses an opportunity to do great things that will benefit the community. As we are fast approaching the festive season, he is currently running a learn to swim program that will teach the community about water safety. So now, um, when we got the opportunity to partner up again with other organizations and play a part in um, introducing Learn to Swim programs and water safety awareness and education as well, of course, you know I'll always jump and say, listen, I'm game, what can we do? And we launched Water Champions this year, again, where we went around um, the township schools as well and we were targeting it for the primary school age as well. I, I, I am a firm believer that we need to start them whilst they are young and we'll keep growing from there. So that is something that as well, that forms part of our youth development arm um, when it comes to now the part of sports and recreation and promoting that. Of course, um, this is what we are doing with what we have and the campaigns will keep on growing and the programs as well gaining strength as and when we get collaborators on board and partners and sponsors on board, something like that. But we are not waiting for them to come first for us to do something. We are digging deep in terms of what we have and then starting out something like that. A big thank you to our featured guests for giving us access into their lives, but sharing the work that they do. It is through people like Bonamelo that we know that every single change that we would like to see in our communities, within ourselves, in personal spaces, professional spaces, it's definitely possible. So do not wait for someone to come and rescue your situation or hope that one day is one day. Yes, one day is one day, but that change definitely starts with you. That's how I'd like to end our show for today. I'll be back next week. Same time, same place. Salah